How much does it really cost to get started in cycling? How much should it cost? Welcome back, friends. Happy Monday. As always, thanks for just spending a little bit of your Monday with me. I've been thinking about what things cost and why the barrier to entry, for lack of a better word, seems to be so high. Um, obviously, most of the bikes that I talk about, that we talk about, you know, are as near as makes no difference, I mean, $2,000, give or take. And there are a lot of people out there that just, that's just not going to happen. So I started thinking about what I would do if I was in that position. And hopefully, you know, there are some people out there that watch these videos that um, can maybe get a little value out of this. So, in the old store, when I was a Trek dealer, it seemed to be that like $600 got you a pretty solid, serviceable bike. Something that, you know, you could ride, uh, whether it be for enjoyment, transportation, um, and that would hold up, and it would last. But what if you couldn't do that? And then there's a used market, obviously, but, you know, with the used market, you a lot of times you don't know what you're getting. I think I would look for a co-op. We've got a co-op here uh, in town called Freewheeling Community Bikes. And they take donations from individuals and from bike shops. And, you know, a lot of times they're pretty nice. And they fix them up and make sure that they're working and that there's nothing wrong with them, that they're, that they're damaged in any way. And then they sell them, and that helps fund some of the projects that they do in the community. You know, I think that's a better option uh, than the used market. It just, you may have to wait a little longer or you may not be able to be quite so picky. Look, we already discussed in, you know, the last video, one of the last videos, that, you know, the components themselves don't really make that much difference. You know, what you're looking for is a good solid set of wheels, especially if you're riding the bike in an urban environment out on city streets. But the components are what people gravitate toward. This is why I sold so many felt road bikes in the early to mid-2000s, because they would take a 105 bike and put an Altegra rear derailleur on it. Or they would take an Altegra bike and they would put a Durace rear derailleur on it. Oh. And, you know, the customer, that's the thing that they can latch onto. That's the thing that they can see. It's, it's easy to grab onto. And it must be better. But we know it doesn't really make that much difference. So... The, the price of things obviously goes up every year. They rarely, if ever, go down. And again, that barrier to entry is just going to get higher and higher. And the cheap bikes keep getting cheaper and cheaper. So ideally, you want to find something in that kind of mid-range. You know, that $600 may be closer to $800 now in a bike shop. I don't know. Um, but I think if you really want or, you know, if you really need 
to use a bike for transportation, it's even more important that that bike be useful and, and serviceable and something that's going to hold up and not, you know, leave you stranded. So I think the co-op is probably the best opportunity, and I think most major cities have them. Um, and if you're out there and you need an inexpensive bike like that, by all means, try to find somebody, not on a forum, please, somebody local that will help you through this process and maybe help you pick through the things that are important versus the things that are not so important. These are just things that I've been thinking about. If you're still with me, um, I will say that uh, <laughs> I was badgered into starting a Patreon page. <laughs> and the badgerer is out there and knows who he is. Um, so I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot. Uh, but the link is down in the description if you want to go check it out. I will appreciate it. It will help offset the cost of, of making these videos. And if you've got the notification bell uh, rung and this is Monday morning or a lot of times on the West Coast late Sunday night, uh, I appreciate it. Let's make the most of the day. Until next time, be nice, work hard, ride bikes, play music when you can. I'll talk to you soon.